Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on computer networks theory course. Today's topic of discussion is on forwarding an IP packet based on the destination address. So on this particular topic, there can be numericals asked. Forwarding of IP packets based on the destination address. Now what exactly will be the problem statement and how you need to proceed in order to solve that problem. To understand this particular diagram, in this diagram what is given a router is given here and the router is connected to four networks you can check here there are four networks connected to the router the first network suppose if i have to start from here it is 201.4.16.0 slash 22 then you can check here one the second network 180.70.65.192 slash 26 here it is third network 201.4.22.0 slash 24 and the fourth one is 180.70.65.128 slash 25. So here we wanted to tell that this particular router which is connected to four networks. Suppose if I am giving this network N1 and for this if I am writing N2 and for this I will write N3 and N4. I can tell it in short notations these four networks are there like this. Okay, the router is here and you have got four networks connected to it and the networks I am just giving here some name one is N1, another is N2, the third one is N3 and fourth one is N4. And N1 is connected to the interface M2, N2 is connected to the interface M0 and this is M3 and network N4 is connected to the interface M1. So M0, M1, M2 and M3 are the four interfaces right and there are four networks N1, N2, N3, N4. Now what exactly you need to know is suppose if this router is receiving a packet which is having some destination address and that packet whether the router has to put on the interface M3 or whether the router has to put on the interface M2 or whether it has to put on interface M1 or whether it has to put on interface M0. If it puts the packet on interface M3, then it is going to the network, which one network 3. If it is going to put packet on interface M2, then it is going to which network N1. So if it is going to place the packet on interface M1, then it is going to the network N4. If it is going to place the packet on M0, then it is going to the network N2. So that means whichever packet the router receives, that packet is having some destination address. So based on that destination address, that packet may belong to either N1 or N2 or N3 or N4. So the router should check that whether this packet belongs to N1 or N2 or N3 and or N4 so that it can place the packet on the correct interface. If that particular host is present in network N3, then it has to place the packet on the interface M3 here. If by mistake if the packet is placed on the interface M0 then it will go to the network N2 and N2 will not have any such host which is having that particular destination address. So it is not reaching anywhere. For that reason every router is having a forwarding table. Now this forwarding table what I am showing here is for this particular network. Okay, For this network this is the forwarding table. You can check here the entries for the forwarding table. We are giving the router name as R1 here. So this is the R1. So that's why we are writing here R1. So we are writing very uh, in the forwarding table. The router R1 will have these many entries. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rows are there. Because it is connected to 4 networks. So you can check 4 entries are representing the network addresses of those 4 networks. And there is one more entry by name default. That means if the packet does not belong to any of these four addresses then it may belong to some other network address which is not present here in the forwarding table. So that will go to the default entry in what way the question can be asked the problem statement also I will tell you. So the question can be like this show the forwarding process if the packet arrives at R1 with the destination address. So one destination address is given 180.70.65.140. So that address I will write it here 180.70.65.140. So this is the destination address that is mentioned in the packet. The router receives this packet. So the router has to decide now whether it has to place the packet on M0, M1, M2 or M3. 
or is it belonging to the default entry For in the problem statement this table will be mentioned okay in the table it will be mentioned that the router is connected to these networks and it is receiving a packet of 180.70.65.140 then on which interface the router r1 will place the packet so take that ip address 180.70.65.140 uh, first try to compare the given IP address with the network addresses that are mentioned here. So given IP address is 180.70.65.140. So you can check here in the list you have two network addresses wherein you can see 180.70.65 that means the three bytes of the given IP addresses are matching with the three bytes of your um, network addresses that are there in the forwarding table. The next network address is completely different the first byte itself is different so there is no possibility that the packet may belong to 201.4.22.0 the packet will also not belong to 201.4.16.0 here we have two entries which are having 180.70.65 three three bytes of each of this are matching with the destination ip address even if two bytes are matching or even if one the first byte is matching with the ip address even then you have to carry out what the bitwise logical and operation with the destination address that is the given packet address with and the subnet mask the given destination address of the packet is 180.70.65.140 with this you need to perform the logical and operation with the mask value mask value is the first network need to test first for the first network slash 26 is the mask value slash 26 indicates what 26 bits are all ones so you write that in decimal in decimal it will be 255.255.255.192 okay so what i'll do is since for me 180 70 65 these three bytes are matching with the network address only the last byte 140 i need to test with the mask value so 140 i will write it in binary and the mask value 192 also i'll write it in binary now, these two only i'm writing in binary so one 14 binary is how much 1000011100 and here in the mask value 255.255.192 so that mask value 192 also i'll write it in binary it will be how much 1100000 so only the last byte i'm converting into binary now performing the logical and operation when you perform the bitwise logical and 180 Ended with 255, you are going to get what 180 only. The next 70, third 65, 3 bytes will remain as it is. Now you perform here logical and 1 ended with 1 is 1. The remaining is all zeros. So convert back to decimal, the last 8 bits, you will get here. This value is how much? 128. So you are getting the network address as 128. Uh, now you check in the table whether it is matching with the network address check here is it matching no it is not matching because the network address is 180.70.65.192 and you got 180.70.65.128 since it is not matching the router will try to carry out the same operation with the second entry here second entry means it is making use of the mask what is the second mask value slash 25 so now it will perform the logical and operation with slash 25 in these entries you are seeing the mask value in slash notation that is slash 26 sometimes instead of instead of giving in slash notation it may be given in the decimal notation also i have, I have written here the decimal notation for slash 26 it will be 255.255.255.192 you can come to know very easily here 255 8 bits 255 8 bits 255 8 bits 24 and 192 in binary is 11000000 so this two bits 24 plus 2 becomes how much 26 bits so you can as you, you can say that the network is having a mask value of slash 26 so the same way slash 25 if it is not mentioned it will be mentioned as 255.255.255.128 if slash 24 is not mentioned it will be mentioned as 255.255.255.0 if slash 22 is not mentioned then it will be given as 255.255.252.0 so that way you have to know the information can be either in the slash notation or it can be given in the dotted decimal notation the mask value 
so now what you have to do is since now you tried matching with the first entry it does not get match now you are moving to the second entry and in the second entry you will pick the slash value it is slash 25 or in the dotted decimal it will be 255.255.255.128 .255 same procedure will follow first we will write here 180.70.65.140 and the subnet mask is 255.255.128 so now what we will do is we will convert it into binary so once again 180 70 65 these three bytes are matching here in the second network only the last byte 128 is here and here we have 140 so these two bytes only will convert it into binary so 140 in binary is, is 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 and uh, 128 so 128 in binary will be 1 followed by all zeros performing the logical and operation you will get 180.70.65. here bitwise and operation 1 ended with 1 is 1 remaining will be all zeros so convert this to decimal 65.128 now, now you got the network address as 180.70.65.128 and here you can check that the network address is also 180.70.65.128 so there is a match here if there is a match the router will place the packet on the interface m0 so here in the diagram m0 is here so this packet which the router has received 180.70.65.140 belongs to this network same problem statement suppose if there is one more destination packet given i am writing here 201.4.22.116 then you are going to follow the same procedure now but the starting byte is what 201 so for you it is easy now instead of carrying out from the first row onwards you can start from the third row first apply the subnet mask slash 24 to the ip address here given ip address 201.4.22.16 okay slash 24 you need to use here as the mask value or this slash 24 can be given in the dotted decimal as 255.255.255.0 first you perform logical and with which one slash 24 so if you are performing with slash 24 uh, what I, I can do is because for me here the IP address 201.4.22 3 bytes are same as that of the network address in the forwarding table so I will not convert those in binary because I will get back the same thing when I, when I carry out the logical AND operation so I will just try to change the last information the last byte is 16 16 I will write it in binary you have to use the mask value here 255.255.255.0 so when you perform the logical and you will get 4.22.0 so this is the network address you got and this network address is here in the third row it is matching and the interface is which one m3 that packet belongs to this network okay this way the router has to decide whether to place on m0 m1 m2 m3 and two destination addresses that were given in the problem statement fine are present in the networks first one is present in this network and the second packet is present in this network fine so for the first packet it has to place on the interface m0 the second packet it has to place on the interface m3 Suppose if you are having a destination address in a packet which is matching with more than one network then you have to use the network address with the highest mask value. Always remember that highest mask value is placed on the top in the forwarding table so that the packet always matches with the right network because if it is matching with more than one network the host will be present in the network which is having what the higher value of mask all the entries in the forwarding tables are arranged in the higher value of the prefix the default entry is one when it is used whenever a packet having a destination address does not match with any of these four networks that means now it is belonging to a network fifth network which can be reached here as per the diagram 
which can be reached through this network via the interface M2. This network is connected to an another router. So it will go to that particular default network which is present here in the rest of the internet. So for that reason only we are writing if it does not match with any of these four networks then only comes the next hop information okay applicable because that fifth network you can reach through this interface 180.70.65.200 okay only for this fifth network only you can check here the next hop value is applicable otherwise for all the four networks since all the four networks are directly connected next hop value is not required so one thing you can always remember is in the question if the mask value is not given in the slash notation like slash 26 it will be given in the dotted decimal notation 255.255.255.192 if the slash values 25 is not mentioned instead of this 255.255.255.128 the forwarding table is sorted always from the longest mask to the shortest mask if there are three masks slash 27 slash 26 slash 24 and the mask slash 27 must be the first entry and slash 24 must be the last it can use the longest mask matching concept in networking wherein if a packet matches with more than one network then it has to select a network with the longest mask that is all about this concept forwarding of ip packets based on the destination address hope you find this session useful if you find it useful Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye and take care.